We went down to Battery Park. The sun was setting. She looked amazing. I could barely look at her. How could I tell her I was leaving? It's hard to imagine what my life would be like without her. Sometimes I wish I could go back to the days before 9-11, before my dad ran into those buildings. He was a firefighter, and the air that day made him sick. So now we have to move out of the city. Aster didn't understand. I didn't either. I found this awesome person I love more than I thought possible. And I'm leaving her. You didn't think I'd let you go that easy, did you? I hope not. I have to go or I never will. Okay. Go. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, you will. Good thing I'm not driving. <laughs> what? That was different. No, not bad different because it was really good. I don't know. It, it almost felt new. But not like the first time we were together. Thank God. <laughs> hey, what was wrong the first time? Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was just nervous as hell. Get out. What? I was. At least you knew what you were doing. But I was afraid you'd run screaming from the room as soon as I kissed you. But you didn't kiss me. I kissed you. I know. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was. <laughs> so, what do you want to do today? This is not an option. Well, it is for another hour, and then the parentals are back from therapy. They've threatened to take us to lunch. Better make good use of the time, then. I like the way you think. <laughs> no, I'd find you out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here I am. Parents are a no-show. Big surprise. You sound disappointed. I don't know, I guess I am. It's just, uh, if you're not gonna be a parent, don't sign up for the job, you know what I mean? Yeah, pretty much do. I almost had a night out with my mom the other night. <laughs> yeah, the, hey, let's you and me have a night out thing. Uh, she blew me off, of course. Some work thing. I immediately wanted to go see you, but you're not a cab right away anymore. We could have called. I was going to. But I thought I might just miss you more after talking to you. Yeah. I suppose. I wish we could just stay like this forever. Why can't we? You don't think food and water would be a problem? Overrated. My dad. He'll understand. Your parents? Don't care. Shopping. What about shopping? You are a bit of a slave to fashion. Well, now I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
want to grab some drinks? You go ahead. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I need to clean that couch. I don't think I know any of these people. You know me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, we'll split after Brick gets here. Cool? You keep that? Oh, I'm keeping it. Just tell me. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? <laughs> I am so gone. I can't even speak. I <laughs> don't. Don't speak. Hey girls, breakfast is on. We'll be down in a minute. God, I should get dressed. Don't you want to shower first? That was nice of you. Do you remember the book you were reading? The book I was pretending to be reading when I was looking at you. Mm -hmm. I flirted with someone. Say something. Did you kiss her? No. <sighs> I think I just died for a minute. Maybe this is all a test. Maybe we should go out with other people to find out if we're strong enough to last. I don't want anyone else. Maybe you want something else. What does that even mean? Maybe you want to not be in a relationship at all. I'm not being fair to you. None of this is fair to you. I love your voice. Did I ever tell you that? What are you doing? I don't know. We're not breaking up. So just stop saying things like it's the last time, okay? Okay. We never had a chance to talk about how we were gonna do this. But we can do this. just so completely own me. <laughs> I 
makes me crazy. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> when do you have to get back? I have to be back at the building at four. Shit. This is too hard. I hate this thing that happens every time. Let's go somewhere. Wherever you say. Wherever I say? This weekend? Pick a place, I'll be there. Let's go right now. Come on, I know a place. Let me take you. Should we show them what two girls do? You are gonna get me in a lot of trouble. I better get used to it. What are you doing here? I changed schools and moved to Westchester. My parents won't even notice. We can be together every day now. Isn't that what you want? You know I want it. I have to make sure I'm home on time. Don't worry, I'll make sure you are. If I cab it, I've got five more minutes to get to the train. That's my girl. Always thinking. <laughs> I think we were better off standing by the door. This could be dangerous. I'll keep my hands where you can see them. <laughs> Let's not make that a habit. <laughs> Just saying. Did someone just come home? Lately, my mom and dad have been coming home at human hours. Really? What's that about? Who knows? I'm sure it will pass. Let's not let it discourage these weekday visits, though. Hardly. <laughs> it's like God created doors. <laughs> okay. Did we just waste two minutes talking about my parents? Oh, shit. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Party down! Hey, baby! I thought I was picking you up at the train station. Couldn't wait. <laughs> uh, you two remember each other? Yeah. Yeah, from the- Hey! <laughs> well, I hope you told Vivian she's to do something with this room. Some posters of pink, at least. Love her. We love pink. Oh, don't pretend it's about her music. You just think she's hot. <laughs> Leave the house to ourselves. How soon can you be here? You don't say hello first? Hello. I can't believe you didn't say anything. Why didn't you tell me you were seeing a shrink? I didn't want you to freak out. We're good, aren't we? See? <laughs> it's my parents, not us. So you don't talk about me. Fine. I don't want to invade your private, secret place. Much too sacred. <laughs> Come on, baby, don't be like that. I'm just trying to figure some things out about myself. I will not ask what things. I will not ask what things. Maybe it's the other way around? No, really. Shut up. Come on, this isn't about Sophie at all. You sure about that? As soon as I realized I was going to tell my aunt, all I could think about was you. 
And now she was finally going to get to know who you really are to me. It's always been about you. And why does it feel like today was about Sophie too? I don't know what else to say. Let's just not say anything. awesome you told her and I'll see you tomorrow okay yes you will So you're with Sophie now? I'm not with Sophie. I've never been with Sophie. You kissed her. You kissed Jamie. That didn't mean anything. It did to me. There's nothing we could do about what we did. It's over now. We broke up because of that. Sometimes I think about you and I would have no idea what you were doing, where you were, and I'd think that's okay. It's just a habit I have to break. The thing I get now is that just because we're not together doesn't mean it's over. You're right, it's not. But things aren't the same anymore either. They're actually more complicated. I met someone. So you're here to tell me you have a new girlfriend? I didn't go looking for it. No, you never do, it just always happens. Okay, I really didn't want us to go there. Wow, really? What did you expect? You think you could just come here and tell me you got over me with some great new girlfriend and I would be fine with that? It's not like the next day I got over you. I had to go to the other side of the country to try to pull myself back together. To, to feel like I could breathe again knowing we're done. Hey, <laughs> so don't stand there and act like this is easy for me. Then why come here and tell me that? I didn't come here to tell you that. But this isn't about her. Then why tell me? Because I always tell you. All of it, whether it sucks or not. Maybe I wish things were different between us. Are you saying you want us to get back together? No, uh, I don't know it. It's not what I meant. Oh man, you always do that. You blurt out some huge revelation and then you try to cover for it or you don't say anything at all. It's crazy. Great, thanks. I didn't come here to fight. I just couldn't leave things the way they were. How were you looking to leave things? I don't know. We can't be friends, Esther. I don't want to be your friend. But things change. Some things don't. I missed you.
<laughs> no. You're here. We're both here. Now you have to go. Because Aunt Jody is going to be here any minute, and she's probably packing pancakes. <laughs> 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 the view is the same. After all that's happened with me and Aster, I can look out this window and know the view won't let me down. And I'm thankful for that. Too cold out there? Just warmer in here? You're thinking too hard. I can feel it. What's going on? Nothing's going on. Nothing's wrong. Which feels amazing, but at the same time, makes me nervous. Mm, let's back up to you feeling amazing. I like the sound of that. Hmm. Just to stay like this. house with you. I'd rather do it in a different room, but yeah. I could see us in every room. I could see us doing this. Can you? Maybe. Look, whatever I did with someone else, whatever you felt for someone else, it's part of us part of our story. Not my favorite chapter. I'm not saying what happened didn't mean anything. It did. It got me back to you. Don't do that with anyone else. Mm, don't you. I believe I'm actually incapable of doing that with anyone else. Always going to be stuff. I hate that there's always going to be stuff. We can handle it. Just when there's stuff, don't disappear. Don't doubt us. Are we good? We are so good. You haven't been down here in a while. You're not moving again, are you? No. <laughs> seems like the right place to take in bad news. Viv, you don't know if it's gonna be bad news. It already is. Just by its very existence. You have a mom. Good or bad, she's still out there. Just let her doesn't have to mean anything. 
maybe I don't have to read it. What are you afraid of, Sam? It's not even about that anymore. I don't know how I'm going to feel about her after I read it. And that scares me. She's my mom. But she left me. How could I let her back into my life? Maybe it's just an apology. No expectations. I don't want anything to change, Esther. I like the way things are. It was really hard to get things to be the way they are now. You can't stop anything from changing. Things happen. You and I know this more than anyone. But after the five minutes that it takes you to read that letter, no matter what it says, I'll still be here. Sure. You don't. But do it anyway. My sweet girl, my daughter, or maybe dear Vivian is all I have the right to say. I've stumbled for days on the best way to open this letter to you. A letter that needs to tell you everything, but of course makes up for nothing. We can get through this. In this moment, just believe in that. Ready? For whatever comes.